Hello friends, welcome to Fearless Coding. This is Sakshi Shreya and this is the first video of this series. Me and Chetan will be instructing you during the series. Mainly what I'll be doing is that I'll be teaching you the basic concepts of C language and helping you through all your doubts. So let's start. Now any person or any average person who first listens to the word C programming would obviously think that what is programming, what is C programming, what is C language, what is even a language, how it came into existence, can I learn it, will I be able to learn it and many many other questions. Don't worry, I'll be answering them. Hmm. The first question was, what is programming? If you will check Google, it gives you two answers. The first is the process of writing computer programs and the second is the process of scheduling something, especially radio or television programs. I'll tell you go with the first because we are going to write computer programs. Reading this line, um, a question is coming into my mind. What is a program? Now the answer lies, the hint of this answer lies in the second point that a program is a schedule of something like you are instructing the computer that the computer has to perform a particular task at a time t and it has to perform a second task at some time t plus delta t second question is what is c language the answer is that c is a high level language um, you must be knowing that there are three types of languages namely the machine language the assembly language and the high level language c is of the third type that is high level language and it resembles with the e with the english language it is the most widely used system programming language and it is the successor of B language. Initially there was a language which was developed named B but there were some bugs found in that and when those bugs were removed the language that was discovered was known as C. You can say that C is the version 2 of B language. The third question is how this language came into existence. This language was developed at AT and T's Bell Labs of USA in 1972. It was designed and written by Dennis Ritchie. It was mainly invented to write an operating system called Unix. Nowadays you will find many other operating systems based on Unix but we are not here to discuss about that. At that time there were few other high level languages like PL1, Algol, Fortran, etc. You'll be very surprised to know that there was no advertisement for C. It was not even made the official Bell Labs language. But it was so simple, it was so reliable that the language spread and the pool of users grew. Two questions left. Can I learn it? Will I be able to learn it? The answer to both the questions is yes yes you can learn it yes you will be able to learn it you can like learn it at any age group just the required thing is that you must be interested if you are interested then you can learn it at any age very easily okay that was a lot of history now we will focus on what are the features of C C is very easy to use. It is a structured language. Um, the answer to the question what is a structured language is a little complex. I cannot define it right now because many of you won't get it. But if you want to know you can always google it. Next is it produces efficient programs. It can handle low level activities and it can be compiled in a variety of computers. You might be thinking what is compiled, compiling, what is compiling, but I will tell it to you later on in this video only. What is a C program file? Since 
you have thought of learning programming i can assume that you are familiar with extensions if not then extension is full stop and some characters found after any file name these uh, characters plus that full stop indicate the format of that file like if you are working in microsoft word it will save the file as abc.docx docx if you are working in powerpoint it will save it as abc.pptx and if you are not if have you have not used any software in the whole of your life you must have clicked a pick and that pick must have been stored as abc.jpg or abc.png these .dox .pptx .jpg .png are known as extensions similarly when you write a c program you save it as abc.c writing a c program is not difficult because you can write it in any editor that that is available to you like if you are working on windows you can use the notepad if you are working on linux you can use the vi editor and i'm not familiar with mac or if this is like you want a different software for writing c programs you can go for an ide ide is integrated development environment an ide is just an editor plus a compiler so that you don't have to download a compiler extensively for your computer what is a compiler so many questions and so many answers a compiler is nothing is just a software that you will need while running your c program the majorly used c compiler is gcc that is gnu c compiler uh, what a compiler mainly does is it just converts an abc.c program into um into an executable program that is abc.exe in windows and abc.o that is an output program in linux why it does so it does so because the program that we made in c language is a high level language our computer cannot understand this language to make our computer understand it we need a medium and that medium is compiler compiler converts hll that is high level language to the machine language so that our computer can understand it